Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Tame Gone Wild, and last time we thunder limbinged the crap out of a very uh, intimidating looking level, and this time we're going to need to get a little extra help in level 13. 30 limbings, gotta save 30, and this one has been altered significantly. You may remember it from Lemmings Redux, it was one of the few, I think, it might have even been the only Tame level that appeared in Lemmings Redux, and there was a talisman to be gotten from it, but this has been altered pretty significantly. There are a couple of traps that I can see. There are more doors. There are There's only one rock pillar at the end there instead of two, and it has arrows going through it. So not very many tasks to deal with, though. So we're going to be doing this, I can see, in a very specific way. And I think I can kind of divine it from 99 release rate. That's always fun. So we're going to go ahead and let it go. We're going to via con Dios. Where is... Okay, some of them are going to the left. Okay, but they're going to hit up on that. So I think the first thing we want to do for sure is bash our way out of here. I want to see what's going on. Okay, no, they're actually going to go over the end there. That's interesting. So we want to... That's kind of a... That's kind of a neat... How do you do? I wasn't expecting them to be able to step over that. So I want to... I want to go ahead and maybe... I don't want to mine through there because I need my miners. But I also think... Well, there aren't too many lemmings to deal with right here. So I'm going to go ahead and dig right here. This might actually prove to be a mistake. Yes, I'm seeing it now because he goes over the thing. Um, so then where to? Let's go ahead and actually... I'm going to go ahead and... Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm having a little trouble with how to handle this part. Obviously right here you bash and then you mine here to allow them to walk up all this. So it's figuring out how to use the digger and one of your bashers right here. I think they're all going to walk off and kind of converge on a spot. I'm going to go ahead and place my digger a little differently. Well, digging might also be... Digging might also be dangerous. There's no steel to catch anything. So we cannot... So we can't just walk up the side of the mountain here. So we gotta get them all going to the right. We gotta get them all going to the right somehow. Because we, if, we, if they go up here to the left... So we have to prevent any leftward travel whatsoever. And I think that is the primary challenge. Because this over here is pretty simple to deal with. You bash here... You mine here. They all walk up. They all have a nice little howdy doody. Maybe. No, I'm pretty sure you use your miner right there. Mining would get them all going in a specific direction. I just hate the. I just hate the fact that they come that these guys come out first, because then that doesn't allow me to save them by doing something like this where I would dig down here. Do they even, yeah, they can survive that height. What they can't survive is walking into a vine. Okay. Yep, they get swallowed right up. That is a big problem. So what do we do here? What is, what is the key? What is the key to the highway? I'm, I'm gonna sit here until I kind of piece it out. Is it something obvious? I feel like it should be something fairly obvious because I don't have a lot to work with so there's one very specific way to do this and i am going to figure that way out okay i think i see the key i think it's over here i think bashing here will allow me because there is just the tiniest little poking up crystal right here so if i bash here that should allow everybody to turn around so i need to dig out so I need to dig, like, right here, probably. Like, right before he would be a problem. So I think I can go ahead and focus on these guys first. Because I should be able to bash on the incline in such a spot 
I'm gonna use the mini map to keep track of my uh, little soldiers, my little Christian soldiers here. But I think, okay, yeah. So I should be able to bash in such a way that it immediately frees everyone. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that is solved. So now I just have to dig, uh, I would say about right here to make a little dent right there. And then it doesn't matter which way they walk. I think that's it right there. Everybody gets what they want. So you bash through there. Some people have to do a little extra walking, but that is, yeah, that kind of makes it so that whether you go left or right, you end up in a safe spot. And this, that bears out. Okay, there we go. We have solved it. Okay. So, okay, a little bit daunting, but you got to use the architecture of the whole level. You have to pay attention to everything. And that is very important to remember in Lemmings sometimes. So I think now that we have, I think now that we're assured of safety, we're going to fast forward to the end here. One Lemming left, zero Lemmings left. Very good work done all around. That was a good one. I'm... There are lots of ways to make that level interesting. That's one of the better tame levels. It's got a lot of potential that's been untapped just by doing it in its regular form with builders, as we saw in Wimming's Redux with the Talisman, and then some additions here that are really interesting. I like that one a lot. That's a good start to the day. A good, tough, but not too tough start. Let's move on now. Not just a pretty Wimming. Looks like everybody coming out of the hatch up there has something going on with them. But I see two hatches and a big mountain with a ton of arrows. The big rock candy mountain right there. Level 14, let's hit it. What have we got? One of a lot of different things. So what's what's the deal with this hatch? What comes out of here? One lemming. That's, I, I think, the yeah, the numbers kind of... And then, are these neutrals over here? They are neutrals. That's interesting. So, zero Wimming coming out of there. So, I think it's up to him to save the day. We've got a 99 release rate. Yeah, one Lemming saving a bunch of neutrals. There we go. Okay, so we've got a Climber. But I think what's important first is that we... I think mining might be a little more important, actually, to get through this mountain. This little mountain range you got going. I see a death. I see an animated death trap up here. But I think we're going to. Okay, what have we got hill wise? When is this guy gonna turn around? Because I think it's gonna be better to maybe bash through this mountain, bash this piece of. Okay, so right here I think is a cause for concern. No, he doesn't. Okay, wow, he doesn't. All right, I think yeah, I want to mine because. Okay, yeah, Builder goes here to get everybody out, and then... Excellent. Okay, but I have to make that... Okay, I've got infinite time, so everything is pretty fine. So I think I want to mine here. Does that work out? Yes, it does. Okay, that works out really well. But, 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 hey, we just skipped a lot of time. Time flies when you're... When you don't want to watch mining happen. Okay, so we've got a nice little shave off there, a nice little taper off at the end. I'm digging it literally so now we want to climb we want to climb so that we can get over this little bit and it doesn't really matter how much these neutrals walk around okay we want to we want to get them free but our main focus is the climber nothing can happen until the climber and everybody should be safe there's a lot of extra walking to do but we have infinite time so nothing matters until the climber so until the climber gets to the spot that it is supposed to use. So we have subverted the death icicle. And now we just need to find this guy in the crowd, right? So, yeah, there we go. The one guy we can assign a task to. It actually wasn't that hard and I didn't have to hold down any arrow keys. But that should pretty much seal the deal right there. All the neutrals have been saved and I bet you they don't even care one bit. So, yeah bunch of ungrateful little jerks he's gonna get as far away from them as possible because this climber cannot stand a lack of gratitude and that's all that the neutrals are gonna give to him so one guy saves the day because only one guy is equipped to save the day and there we go we had a little nice little breather after the, the previous level was definitely tougher uh, feels like that flag was a little 
think is the flagpole usually that thick on the snow cabin i don't know i notice weird things but here we go let's try another one gone with the lemming 30 lemmings 30 to be saved i expected no more and no less two hatches looks like we've got another number residing over that one on the right I want to see it. What's that number? It's one. I think we may have another. I think we may have another. Everyone, everybody saves the day situation here on our hands. So what? I think we want to focus on the tasks that this guy will be solving. All right. So yeah, that one came out, and the other ninety-nine. So we're going. We're going back. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Actually, everybody has the same needs, so nobody's needs are outweighed in this case. Obviously, we want to build over our exit. That seems like a pretty seems like a pretty simple idea. In fact, it doesn't look like there's too much going on here, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and I think we use two builders to get to the exit, and you just kind of mine out with them. You have two bashers. One for this wall, one for the other one. That's I don't think it gets much easier than that. Okay, yeah, let's go through there. And yeah, two bridges to get across the, the death bubbles here. Oh yeah, that'll definitely... Well... Hmm. Okay, we're going to want to get a little higher up on the wall, I think, before we start having a basher parade here. We want to actually think about where we're cutting. So let's go ahead and... Oh no, we don't have to think about it at all. Let's just go ahead and get cutting through this ooh did i think about where he would hit his head no i didn't but it turns out it worked out all the same that was a super easy one i didn't even have to really think too hard about all that one all that much the one lemming coming out over here gave it away i think it's a little unusual to have just one lemming come out of a hatch i think i think i'd just kind of have him hanging out in the open maybe and you've got to figure out what to do with him from his starting position because you could be, you know, focusing on the hatch over on the left. All of a sudden, you hear one living off to the right go, meep, like it fell in the pit and died. So, I don't know. Having it come out of a hatch, you can kind of study the hatches. And it kind of, it tips the whole hand, honestly. So, I don't know. I don't know that it's really the right way to go. I'm going to fit in a fourth one today. I don't care. See, there's another one. There's another one living hatch. So, I can guess with some reason i can reasonably guess who's going to be saving them. well probably the lemmings over on the right are going to be saving themselves for a little bit but then they're going to be relying on that one okay so 30 lemmings gotta save them let's hit it oh yeah and no going underneath the bottom here for sure so we've got six floaters i have a feel i have feelings about that um i'm gonna go ahead and all right a release rate of one that is ultra slow in this engine so let's see what happens then i want to see just how long this takes this guy to get out here so all right i'm gonna go ahead and bash maybe only four builders i can use here so i'm kind of in i'm kind of inclined to see where this goes that lemming might be okay no it takes the other one's come out pretty slowly as well so who works first i have a feeling we want this one to bash through this see that quicksand lap it up against the the edge there okay so you go ahead and float you need because you need to save some comrades so if we go hmm i don't know if this is I don't know if this is the way right here. Everything is happening so slowly. We only have... Oh, okay. Well, just a second now. We've got to save everybody, but... Alright. I think I kind of have the idea here. Okay, we're going to build to here. Alright, and then we're going to build two bridges going this way. There we go. Alright. So now... Okay, yeah, so now a bunch of lemmings are going to float because we have to prevent, you know, that attrition. So now we just bash our way through to the end. Okay, there we go. And we're going to make them float reasonably high up 
in their drop. I'm not sure what difference that's going to make because they all come out at the same release rate, so it's not really that big a deal. Okay, now... Okay. Now to get this going as quick as possible. Alright, we've only got time for a few more float. We've only got two more floaters, so I need to end this bridge as soon as possible. There we go. Okay, now... There we go. And this person floats. I think we may have even one floater left over. So I think it's going to be... Alright, I don't even think we're going to use all six. There we are. Let's go ahead and end that bridge early too, because we can just get everybody to the exit. Hallelujah, the day is saved. And we didn't need a climber. Didn't need the climber. I wonder what the climber was for. Not entirely necessary by my estimation, but another nice little level. Everybody working together from different perspectives, coming together, working as a team. You love to see it, don't you? Teamwork, that's that's really what you want to see in this day and age, is people coming together. Lemmings uniting. That's, that's the spirit, right? Huzzah. Huzzah's all around. <laughs>